Welcome back to Barbecue and Bottles. And today we're gonna to be making Nashville hot chicken sliders. Now this is being inspired by the sports leagues opening back up again. So we thought let's create some foods that would just go really well if you got one or two guests over and you're still respecting social distancing, but you wanna have some awesome game day food. And we're using chicken thighs here because they're really nice and fatty. So it's just gonna make for a juicier slider. Now for our brine, we're going in with four cups of buttermilk and we're gonna be brining these 24 hours before we actually deep fry them. And now we're gonna add in a tablespoon of black pepper, a tablespoon of paprika, and a tablespoon of kosher salt. And then we're gonna go in with roughly a quarter cup of hot sauce. Now we're just gonna mix this together. All right, so that looks perfect. Now we're just gonna add in our chicken thighs. We'll get these submerged here. And this recipe is enough for somewhere between six to eight chicken thighs. You wanna make sure that your chicken's fully covered by the buttermilk, just so that it can really brine and absorb over the next 24 hours. Perfect, so now we'll just put some cellophane over this sticking it back in the fridge. So it's 24 hours later and we're gonna get our shallow fry going here. So we're just using the Cuisinart Five Burning Grass Grill here and we're gonna be using our beef tallow as our fry oil. Now you might be thinking, Jared, are you wearing the same clothes as you were yesterday? And the answer to that is yes. No judging, it's a long weekend. So fry oil, we're just gonna get our tallow into the pan. and we're gonna get this heated up to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we'll want this filled up about halfway up the pan. Now it's really important you leave enough space because when we add our chicken into this, that's gonna raise the level and we wanna make sure we're not spilling oil over the edge of the pan. Now, of course, if you don't have beef tallow, you can use another fry oil like canola oil, but we really like the beefy richness that frying chicken in beef tallow actually provides. And this beef tallow, we made it with our brisket trimmings. So it's another great way just to use the whole animal here, as opposed to wasting any of the pieces. So now we're just gonna make our dredge for the chicken. So we've got six cups of all-purpose flour. And to that, we're gonna add one tablespoon of paprika. We're gonna add one tablespoon of cracked black pepper. Get all the paprika there. And then we've got two tablespoons of kosher salt. So we're gonna just combine this with a whisk in the bowl here, and then we'll go get our chicken. So we've got the chicken thighs in the marinade here. And what we're gonna do, so we're just gonna take this out. And because we're actually making sliders, we're gonna cut these in half. So now that we've got this cut in half, we're gonna take it straight into our dredge. So using the wet hand, dry hand technique, you're gonna to wanna to keep this hand for touching the wet, and then this one for the dry. Now you'll put your chicken thigh in there, and then you'll use your dry hand to just make sure it gets nice and evenly coated with your dredge. Now here's the secret. We're gonna double dip, so we bring it back in to the buttermilk brine here, and now we're taking it back into the dredge. This is gonna make sure that we get an incredible breaded exterior to our chicken. Beautiful, just like that. You know what, I'm gonna shake off a little bit of the dredge and now that's ready for the deep fryer. So we'll do the same with the next one. In here, cover it, put it back into our buttermilk, get it back in the dredge, cover it again, shake off any loose bits of the dredge, and then set that over here. So we'll do this for the rest of these chicken thighs, and then we'll get over there and start shallow frying these. So we've got our oil heated up to temp here, so now let's add in some chicken. Now for the chicken, 
You can add three full chicken breasts for a 12 inch cast iron pan like that. So this means we'll be able to do two batches with all of our chicken. So we're just gonna add this in slowly and you're gonna wanna drop it away from you just so that you don't splash yourself with any oil. Now we'll add in our last one here. So we've got six of the half chicken thighs just bubbling away. So this is gonna take somewhere between eight to 12 minutes. But what we're really looking for is an internal temperature of 165 Fahrenheit because that's when chicken's done. So we'll flip it halfway through and check the temp for doneness. So we're six minutes into this cook. So we're just gonna flip them. Look at that. Beautiful crispiness, nice golden brown outside, but we still have another likely six minutes to go. Just look how golden brown and crispy these are gonna be. Incredible little flavor pockets here. We've got a Nashville hot sauce that we're gonna to add to these afterward. Just huge, huge flavor bombs. So we're just temp checking here and we're at 166. So this guy's done and ready to come off. Make sure you go around and temp check all of these. The last thing you wanna be doing is serving your guests raw chicken. So if you have a cooling rack, just set these on a cooling rack. We left ours in the city, but that's fine. Just put it on your cutting board. Now fry up the rest of this, and then we'll show you how to make the Nashville hot sauce that goes along with these guys. You wanna make sure that you're keeping these separated. If you place them down, they're a little too close together. You wanna to make sure they're not gonna stick. So now we're just gonna make the actual topping for our Nashville hot chicken, and this is the sauce at the end. So we've got a quarter cup of cayenne pepper. We've got a tablespoon worth of paprika, a tablespoon worth of chili powder, and a tablespoon worth of granulated garlic. So we're gonna whisk that all together. Once we've got that evenly whisked, we're gonna add in some of the oil from our fry. Now we're just gonna add in some of the tallow to make this a liquid hot sauce. Mix that around. So this is the consistency that you should be looking for. And now we really have one of two options. You can either use a brush and just paint this sauce onto your chicken, or you can just dunk it. We're going with the painting option right now. Oh, gorgeous. I wish you could smell this. Now we flip these over and we're just saucing the other side. Now we're just gonna take some brioche buns here, get these plated up, and we're gonna take some of the slider sized guys here. Now you've gotta to top your Nashville hot chicken with some dill pickles. So that's what we're doing here. Perfect, and now you've got a plate of Nashville hot chicken sliders ready for the game. So now we're gonna do the taste test, but I want you to hear just how crispy these are. Now, when we cut in, just listen to this. Incredible crunch, really juicy on the inside. No Delilah, not for you. Mm. Oh, that's great. Incredibly crispy exterior, really juicy interior. And that is hot. The heat lingers here. So you can adjust this recipe depending on your desired heat levels. But that's a beauty about cooking for home yourself. You can make what feels right for you as opposed to going out and getting something that just blows your head off. Oh, this is absolutely incredible. I'm gonna go in for the second bite here. 
I cannot get enough of this. We were down in Nashville about four years ago with some really good friends. We went to Prince's Hot Chicken. This is exactly like that. So easy to make right here at home. With travel restrictions all around, you might as well take yourself on a little trip to Nashville in your backyard and give this recipe a shot. So if you like this video, give it a like below. Consider subscribing to the channel for more of these videos to come. Thanks for tuning in.